Right, I'm back in. I'll just go up. Well, I'm not up, I'm still in bed. And I'm going fishing today. Although I feel like staying in bed at the moment. Um, got a new garbly in M1 pole. And I'm looking forward to testing it. Oh, yes. Let's get up, get dressed, and get on the bank. All packed, all loaded, poles in the car, about 8 o'clock, stereo's coming on, bit of drum and beers. Turn that off I think. It's about 8 o'clock, got loads of time to get there, even from by my standards I'll be there on time. Um, let's just get there, hopefully traffic's alright, and we'll be out and fishing in no time. Well, uh, <laughs> this is a good start, we've got 5 minutes down the road, and it's total gridlock! Oh no, we're actually moving. Right, now we're here. That was nice and easy. Um, car just needed to chop the front off in the car park. Nice, thank you very much, mate. No, anyway, we're here now. Took about 40 minutes, not bad really. Um, looks a lovely mild day. The forecast is good. It says about eight and a half degrees on the old cat uh, on the old car thermometer. Um, let's go and have a draw. I ain't even got a clue what lake we're on today. We'll just have to see, won't we? Well, that means I've got the bonus plate, oh, doesn't it? It's two lifts. Oh, oh, it's a uh, bag of doom. Bottom pull. That's the bonus. Ten. Picture. <laughs> well, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> peg ten. Bonus peg. Lake I've never fished before for a long, long time. Anyway, bottom pull. Let's just try and find me peg now. Where's bottom pull? Where's peg ten? There's peg twelve. Eleven. <laughs> Hmm, interesting. There we are, peg tent. Uh, strange little pot there. Another little pot there. Little corner there. Point of an island there. That's only about six, seven metres away. Uh, a bit of a point there. Uh, nowhere near that big island. Nowhere near them flyers over there. But it looks like it's a good, typical Johnny Arthur peg. Let's get loaded up. Couple of key nets, 50 pound limit. We'll have to see how we're going with that. Some bread there, oh yes. Might do a bit of dobbing, you never know. And a couple of rollers. There we are. Right goggles on. <laughs> Alright, well I'm pretty much set up, although I've only got one rig put up at the moment. Um, bit of a mare at the moment, I've dropped a plummet in and more importantly I've dropped a number four section in so looks like I'm going to be getting wet after the match. Um, anyway, that's my peg all set up, looking nice and hunky dory. There's some of the anglers I'm fishing against. A couple there. There's Pete Hancock's on the island. No, I think he'll be my biggest threat today. So uh, it's not a big match, but you know they all count. 
and uh, it's just a nice t way to test the pole. Here's me bait, a bit of crush expander, corn, maggots, some dead maggots to try, micros and four mils, and uh, there's milks I'm using today mostly, gamma blacks, and most important part of the day, some biscuits. Right, but my reckoning we've got about five minutes before the start, so I've got the pole out, I've got loads of options today, I'm right, I reckon I'll fish right up to about 40 and a half metres chasing the fish up that far side of the island. Um, I've only set up three rigs, a dobbin rig and then two main rigs that I can fish, well they're utility rigs, they can fish at all, all sorts of depths wherever I drop my rig, it's quite, it's about six inches between all the depths, so uh, I'll show you my rigs anyway, if I just flip this over, I've set up more top kits than I need, I've only got three actually rigged up, um, here we go, I've got nine hollow elastic, coming down to a nice little ducker on it, little 4x12 Chianti float. I'm just using old rigs today. I never mess around. On these sort of matches I just use whatever I can get to hand and use up old rigs. It helps clean my tackle box up a bit. Just got a strong bulk of number 10s or number 11s. 10s they are I think. And a little 6 inch hook length with a shot on. And then at the end I've got, actually this one's an 18 Kamazan F1, a new a new hook pattern, the other one's got a 16 Gamma Black, and uh, I'm also using the new stripper kits, you can see them there, or pull a slot kit should I say, and the beauty of them, I can actually use a bead there, as you can see, I can actually pull that down, and uh, you can actually tension your elastic. Nice little touch. Right, let's go. Tyler, oh, these biscuits ain't gonna last long. 